The Coastal Commission has broad authority over 1.5 million acres along the state's coastline. It's tasked with preserving natural resources and protecting public access to the coast. But the report, A Better Coastal Commission, from think tank Circulate San Diego, paints the picture of an unaccountable bureaucracy. It cites examples of the commission blocking bike lanes and delaying approval of new apartments by as much as four years. The report's author, Will Moore, says that makes housing more expensive, exacerbates racial segregation, and forces people into longer commutes. We trust the Coastal Commission. We trust them to be the guardians of the coast. They have this lovely green halo uh, of environmental protection around them, but that's not how they're behaving. One example in the report is a project that would replace a vacant fast food restaurant in Los Angeles with 39 apartments. Eight of those homes would be set aside as affordable housing. The project won a unanimous approval from the L.A. City Council, then was delayed by more than two and a half years at the Coastal Commission. There's an abandoned Burger King just sitting on that property. It's not working as a Burger King. You can't build anything else on it because it's not permitted. And the Coastal Commission doesn't take that sort of impact on a community into account when they're delaying projects for two, three years at a time for what turns out to be no good reason. Coastal Commission spokesman Joshua Emerson Smith told KPBS in a statement, quote, Circulate San Diego, which is funded by the real estate industry, has provided no credible evidence for its deeply offensive assertion that the commission has exacerbated racial segregation in coastal communities. Density bonus projects are regularly approved in the coastal zone every year, and the commission is not aware of ever having denied such a project. Circulate San Diego is sponsoring a bill that would force the Coastal Commission to streamline approvals of apartment buildings that include affordable housing. The commission's staff have testified against the bill. It passed the assembly last month and now awaits hearings in the Senate. Andrew Bowen, KPBS News.